Dr. Shepard with my PhD in chemistry from the University of Florida. A lot of my colleagues have been asking me about how to make a homemade adhesive. And I'm here today to tell you I figured it out. Due to the chemical properties of flour, cornstarch, water, and salt, when mixed together they make a great adhesive. We're going to start with the cornstarch. The cornstarch is one of the main ingredients in this adhesive and is the reason it works so well. It takes a while for it to all come out, but make sure it all comes out. And we are using about 25 milliliters in this solution. If you're using 25 milliliters of cornstarch, you're going to want to use about half a cup of flour. Mix the flour and cornstarch together until you get a pretty good consistency. You will see that there is quite a bit of leftover flour. That is what the 50 milliliters of water is for. Once you've added the 50 milliliters of water, you will also want to mix them together. Now you should get a much more blue-like solution. It should look something like this. After you've done that, you're going to want to add about a tablespoon of salt. Salt is really what brings this adhesive together due to NHCl. That's its chemical compound. The there you go. The final step of this adhesive is to put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you take it out of the fridge, put it on whatever you would like, whatever is broken, whatever you want to glue together, and it should work just as good as a store body heat. To prove this stuff really works, I'm now going to demonstrate it being used on this broken coffee mug. You're going to want to keep your glue in a closed container so it doesn't dry out, obviously. And the cool, really cool part about this glue is you can just use your fingers instead of any ordinary glue brush. You're going to want to get a pretty good amount of glue on your fingers and apply it to the fracture point on the broken coffee mug or whatever is broken and you're using to fix. After that's done, make sure you get it all off by either using a towel or with my case I could just rub it on my lab apron. Now I'm going to apply where the apply the broken part of the mug onto, onto the full part of it. Like this. You're going to want to hold it there for about 30 seconds. So you're going to want to apply quite a bit of pressure in between the handle and the coffee mug if that's what you're fixing. I've also used this glue to fix many other items around my house and it has become one of my favorite items to make and use. For instance, paper crafts my kids use, I always use those and they work out great. Well, it's been about 30 seconds I think and now we're going to try it out. There's going to be a little excess glue where you made, where you press the two together and you can just wipe that off with your finger. It might be a little dry but just apply some water. Mine's not dry enough because I might have went a little less than 30 seconds. But just apply some water and wipe that right, that comes right off. Now for the true test. Will it really work? And it does. Just like I said it would. Perfectly. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe.